Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit using L'Hopital's rule, but first, we have to verify that L'Hopital's rule does apply. So we have to verify our case. Well, as x goes to infinity, e to the x also goes to infinity. And as x goes to infinity, x squared also goes to infinity. So we have an infinity over infinity case, so L'Hopital's rule does apply. Limit stays the same, so x is approaching infinity. So we replace e to the x by its derivative, but the derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x. So this does not change. The derivative of x squared is 2x. Once again, we check our case. As x goes to infinity, e to the x goes to infinity over 2x, which also goes to infinity. So once again, we have an indeterminate case, something very big over something very big. But, as it is an infinity over infinity case, we can apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. The derivative of e to the x, as we've said before, is e to the x. The derivative of 2x is simply 2, and now we have an interesting case. As x goes to infinity, e to the x goes to infinity, 2 is a constant, so it says 2. So, the numerator blows up to infinity over 2, it still just blows up to infinity. So, the limit is infinite. It does not exist, but specifically by blowing up. So think of what this is saying. As x goes to infinity, e to the x goes to infinity, x squared also goes to infinity. But, because e to the x goes to infinity much faster than x squared does, the ratio still goes up to infinity. And that's it.